Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a triangle and inside this triangle are two circles. Uh, the yellow and the green one. And uh, these two circles are tangent to the altitude to the hypotenuse of this uh, right triangle. <coughs> and uh, the altitude to hypotenuse is 4 units and that the area for the yellow is 9 all over 4 pi and the green is pi and we are required to find the area of the blue triangle okay so our attack for this problem is simple so since we are required to find the area we can actually uh, since we are given this height and we can actually find the total length of the base okay so first thing we have to do is we need to get the radius of this two circles so uh, we have for the yellow the radius of the yellow uh, so area is actually pi r squared so area is 9 over 4 pi equal to pi r squared so we cancel this pi and r squared is equal to 9 all over 4 and if we take the square root of both sides we have r is equal to 3 over 2 for the yellow so let's label this as r y so next is we get the uh, uh, radius for this uh, green triangle so we have area is equal to pi r square so 1 pi or pi is equal to Let's call this RG. So pi RG square. So we cancel out pi and we have 1 is equal to RG squared. And to get RG, we just simp simply take the square root of both sides. So we have RG is equal to 1. Okay, so I have already labeled the radius. So for the yellow and the green and uh, since this is 3 halves this radius then this should be also 3 halves so this will be 3 halves and this since this is 1 then this should be also 1 unit and uh, this is actually 3 halves so this distance will be 4 minus 3 halves. So 4 minus 3 halves is 5 halves. So if that is 5 halves, then by tangency, this is also 5 halves. And for the green triangle, since this is 1, then this length is should be 4 minus 1 should be 3 and if that is 3 this length then this should be 3 units okay so next is we notice that there are unknown lengths so uh, we label this unknown lengths as x this longer segment and this longer so and by tangency if you have tangents for uh, that intersect outside this circle then they are equal okay so recalling the theorem about tangents so we have two important theorems related to tangents to a circle are as follows so theorem one the tangent makes a, a right angle at the point of tangency and this is actually the point of tangency and this other one so the length of the two tangents drawn outside or from an external point to a circle. So this is the external point and this is the tangent point. So these two segments are equal. And same for this, the if you focus on the green uh, circle, so this segment is equal to this segment. So we can actually label this pair of segments as this as x and this as x and this is y and this is y 
Okay, notice that the triangle that circumscribes the yellow triangle is actually a right triangle and we can actually use Pythagorean theorem. So the hypotenuse is this x, x plus 5 halves. So uh, x plus 5 halves squared is equal to the one leg square plus the other leg square. So one leg square is four square plus the other leg square is x plus this x plus three halves. So x plus three halves squared. So we have x squared plus this becomes five x plus twenty five over four is equal to sixteen plus x squared plus 3x plus 9 over 4. So we simply multiply all of this uh, across this equation 4. So we have, uh, I mean, what we have to cancel first this x squared because they are common. So next is we multiply this by 4. So we have 20x plus 25 is equal to 16 times, sorry, 64 plus 12x plus 9. So we have to put this 12x to the left hand side. So we have 20 minus 12. 20x minus 12x is equal to 64 plus 9 minus 25. Because you need to put this 25 to the right hand side and it becomes negative. Okay, so 20 minus 12 is 8x. So it is equal to 64 plus 9 is 73 minus 25 and that will give you 48. And dividing both sides by 8. So we have Cancel this out. So x is equal to 6 units. Okay, so next is we focus on the circle and triangle on the right, which is the green circle. So the hypotenuse is actually this 3 plus y. So y plus 3 squared is equal to the square of these mm, two legs for this uh, oh, I mean the triangle covering the green that will be four square for the longer leg and the shorter leg is y plus one so plus y plus one square so we have y square plus six y plus nine is equal to 16 plus y square plus 2y plus 1 and we need to answer this this y square and we put this 2y to the left hand side so we have 6y minus 2y is equal to this 16 plus 1 then we need to put this now to the right hand side so this becomes negative 9 so 6y minus 4, 2y is equal to 4y. And 16 plus 1 is 17 minus 9. And that will be 8. So divide both sides by 4. So we have y is equal to 2 units. Okay, so for the final step is we are now ready to find the area. Uh, because we have already calculated the lengths of this, uh, the, the segments of the base. So this is 6, 3 halves, 1, and 2. So area is simply 1 half times the base times the height. So area is equal to 1 half times the base, which is 6 plus 3 over 2 plus 1 plus 2 times the height which is 4 so we cancel this 4 divided by 2 this becomes 2 and this becomes 
3 halves so we get the LCD which is 2 so 2 divided by 1 is 6 I 1 so times 6 that will be uh, 12 so plus 3 then plus 2 then plus 4 okay. and we multiply and this becomes 2 and we cancel this so area is simply adding this 12 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 this gives us 15 plus 6 so area is equal to 21 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.